Sorry about no game audio in the last video for Ranked Seasons, but today I've got that under control taken care of as we're going to look at a very interesting card, Jacob deGrom. Now, we've seen him in the game the entire year. We know about Jacob deGrom. He's always been a little bit weird to control for some reason, despite him not walking anybody. They don't give him good control. I don't really know why that is. He's very obviously, clearly the best pitcher in baseball. However, what makes Jacob deGrom extremely interesting is they gave him the outlier quirk. I'm sure you can tell that from the title. So that takes up his primary fastball from 98, 99 that you can get it up to, to he's pumping 101, 102 every single pitch. So Jacob deGrom with outlier now becomes very, very interesting with over 100 hit per nine as a starter. So we're gonna try him out in this video. As for the rest of the team, I've added Marcus Simeon in. I don't think we've seen him in ranked seasons yet, but most of the team stays the same. I can't take Fernando Tatis out. I can't take Chipper out. These guys just know how to rake, plain and simple. So if you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. You guys seem to enjoy the toxic version of me that came out yesterday when the guy was like spamming bunt and then actually bunting as well as like holding R2 and just being a general pain in the ass. Can we not even play? That's a general pain in the ass. But yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I guess we just can't play. Oh, there was an update. That's right. I gotta restart the game. So obviously this goes without saying, but this is my first game of the day because I just had to update the game. And I've been struggling on a Hall of Fame as it is lately. Garrett Crochet on the hill. So it's outlier versus outlier. Let's see how bad I am. World Series player. Let's see what DeGrom can do. Well, that's a pretty good first pitch. That's right on the black. That is fairly good. My big concern with DeGrom is how I'm going to be able to control him. But he's put these first two pitches pretty much exactly where I want them. It's always interesting to get a different type of perspective. Usually we're doing a lot of hitter debuts, hitter videos, just because it's it's more exciting. But it's, it's interesting to get a pitcher out there. You guys can see how I pitch. And with DeGrom, I know this guy is going to be sitting heater. So I'm just a little bit more sparing to throw that. Or I'm throwing it more sparingly, I should say. I'll, I'll show him one just to show him the speed. It'll make the off speed more effective. Because I don't think there are a lot of guys who are going to catch up to 102 the first time they see it. And that's a slider. And he stayed on it. That is an excellent swing, and we are down one nothing. His cap goes yard. It's always fun to see fake players in the game. And that one's out as well. Stayed on a fastball. I mean, it wasn't really a bad spot for it, 3-0. It was a fastball. But it wasn't, you know, particularly over the heart of the plate. He's pretty well underneath that and got the homer anyway. Kind of a tough start for DeGrom here. Still, him not having a sinker is going to hurt. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. The sinker is just the best pitch in the game, and the cutter is really good to pair with the sinker. If you don't have one of those, you're not going to be ultra effective. Uh, it seems like this guy's just getting on everything right now. Let's see if we can dot this for strike three. Curveball, he took one already. Swung through that one. All right, down by two, which already spells the end of the game since I can't hit. That's unfortunate. Oh, man, I thought I waited back on that changeup. Early, just missed it, and Tatis is down for the first out of the game. Did I get that one? Yes, changeup stayed on at that time. That could be two for Chipper. Let's get it, let's get it. All right. Big first hit of the ball game. Runner in scoring position for Mike Trout. I just have to work on my plate discipline. I'm kind of going after everything right now. And I just have to take some of these. Wait for a mistake. And he hits Mike Trout on a slider that got away. And now lefty, lefty. We're thinking dead red. Ooh, good slider. I'm still thinking dead red, though. He might not throw me a fastball, but that's what I want. Slider. Show me the heater. Look at that take on the change. Does he try and dot the fastball over there? That's what I would do after that take. <laughs> it's exactly what he tries to do, and I'm just late. Up and in. Nope. 
Throws me the change up, and that one's gonna be perfect, perfect. Hit to the gap. We're in a position to tie up this ball game. We're gonna send Tatis home. That's not who that is. It's Mike Trout. 87 speed, I'm hosed. Oh man, how do we not score on that? I did not try and steal. I did not try and steal. I, I don't know. I, I didn't hit L2 to my knowledge, yet he just started running when he stepped off. I don't know what just happened. Either way, we ran ourselves out of the inning. That sucked. Things ripped. This dude's on the slider. He is on the slider. DeGrom is... I don't know. It's not looking good. I need to get the slider in a less hittable location, but I don't know how to make him swing at that. He's geared to hit the heater. I don't know. This guy's going to be a tough player to beat. Like, 102 like that is tough for a lot of guys to turn on. And even righty-lefty, it can be. He does a good job of it. I need to elevate the ball, maybe. I feel like it's more readable. With a high fastball, it's very easy to tell what it is. I don't know. It's going to be a very interesting game. We just have to uh, not make mistakes, take advantage of his. Simeon, is that one going to get down? It is. Fluked him. That's a really, really awful hit. I have no idea how that was the contact result. I'll take the hit. The game's bad. But I'm shocked. Gary's contact against left is so low. But his power is so high. Squared it up. No doubter. Gary is scary. Release the Kraken. Gary Sanchez. We're going to take the lead here. 3-2. Had to run into one. He's already got arms going in the bullpen. He is ready to sweat this game. It's his second inning, by the way, in case you're curious as to what's going on there. Ah! Tried it with DeGrom. A little early on that slider away. His pitch count with Crochet, I think it's over 50 in just two innings. And he's going to take him out already. It's the second inning. It's the third inning now. He's pitched two innings with crochet that's insane to me and that's a hit with Jordan tough roll it up it's gonna be tough to turn on Buxton we got a hose though with Simeon maybe not a hose decent arm power decent arm strength like 80 plus that is a strike call the ball unfortunate I'm still really struggling to pitch to lefties with DeGrom I don't really know what to do like, he's early on that. Maybe I need to throw the two-seamer more. If he's going to be early on the fastball, see if he rolls it over or something. And that's exactly what he does. Simeon's there. With Outlier now, the two-seamer becomes so much more effective because it looks a lot slower than his four-seamer with the Outlier quirk on it. So, that's going to be a pitch I need to implement a lot more that I just haven't. And he's going to throw another starter. <laughs> Oh, man. These guys are awesome. I know this is DeGrom's video, but I'm going to play dirty if he is. I'm going to warm up Edward Cabrera. Have fun. Also, if you don't think there's anything cheesy about going to a second starter in the third inning of a ranked seasons game, that's on you. That's not on me. I'm going to have my opinion. You're welcome to yours. Pause. Are we going to go to another starter maybe for the fourth inning? Got to get some guys up in the pen. Did I get that? I'm always asking because I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I don't know. Mike Trout is going to have a double, it looks like. Who knows if we didn't get thrown out in the first where we'd be right now. But that's a big two-out double. It's a good cutter. How do I take the cutter like that and, and totally whiff on the sinker? I really thought it would be in that beautiful, like, up-and-in spot. So I was just so ready to crush it. Poppy up the middle. This time, Mike Trout's going to score. Didn't get the RBI uh, sending Mike Trout home last time. This time, he does it. Big Poppy is so good in this game. If Alfonso Soriano could run into like a sinker right here, he'd be in a really great spot. It's not what happened. And I'm just not even close to on that. Cutter's nuts. We are up 4-2, though. We scored a run in every inning, which is a super nice change. And we just have to get it going with DeGrom. Yeah, I think he's so ready to hit the slider there that if I throw the change up, he'll just swing at it expecting it to be the slider. Threw three in a row. 
He's not even close to it. PCI is not even coming close to touching the ball. Not the inner cone. Not the outer cone. None of it. And I throw a changeup that hangs in the zone and he mashes it. No harm done though. Still up four to two. Let's get some more insurance. Gary is scary. Second of the game. He threw only sinkers to Simeon. And I swung through the first two and then got frozen on the third one. Tries it again and it was a big mistake. Because Gary Sanchez has his second home run of the game. It's only the fourth inning and Byron Buxton goes back to back. Oppo Taco. Slider away. Stayed on it. Gripped it and ripped it. Six to two. We are playing well today. It is a beautiful change. Oh man, that was that was the best pitch I'm going to see with Degrom. It's a slider right down the middle, and I pulled down a little bit, only slightly, but just enough to pop out instead of hitting that ball harder. Tatis Oppo Taco. He homers every game, every game. Somebody in the comments said, "Shout out to you. You know who you are." That they would bet so much money on Tatis hitting a home run every game. There you go. There you go. And Chipper has gone back to back with him so often. Had to put them back to back in the order again. And for, you know, amazingly good reasons. It's just, he's so locked in at the plate for me every time. Tatis is so good. Chipper's so good. And that one is not going to be a home run. It is going to be a single. Keeping this two out rally going. And what do you even throw to me here? I've been so on everything this inning. Change up down the middle probably wasn't the best bet. That one's ripped for back-to-back -back singles. Two out rally, still alive and well. And this is going to bring up David Ortiz. And Big Poopy has been shitting on balls today. He's been unbelievable. Two for two. Another great opportunity to get some runners in. Oh, that was the pitch. I need to square that up. Early two would have been foul, probably. Maybe not, though. Just early would have been foul. Early is not always. All over that one. Early squared up. Grounded foul. And that one is crushed. Perfect, perfect. You might be able to call that one Oppo Taco, but that's more towards center field. David Ortiz. Big poopy. Shits on one. Three run home run. Yeah, I'm locked in right now. I am locked in right now. It's a beautiful thing. We're up 10 to 2. And that one is back to back. Soriano crushes it. And we put up a 7 spot. Here in the bottom of the 4th inning. This 2 out rally is rolling. 450 off the bat of Alfonso Soriano. And there the rally ends. We batted around. Marcus Simeon makes two of the three outs in the fourth inning. <laughs> what a blast this game is when I'm playing well, as opposed to when I'm playing terribly. Actually, he's been on the slider when it breaks in. Is he going to be on it away? It's possible, but we're going to see. Can't locate it. Again, that's my biggest problem with DeGrom. I just can't seem to locate his pitches consistently enough for him to be effective. Like, what is that? Perfect pitch. I'm trying to throw it in the strike zone. Is it, it, it wasn't close. It wasn't close. And that one's going to be out. That's a ship it special. I know the risks of playing here. And our mercy is going to be a lot harder. It's 11 to 4. Yeah, I like, I hate to say it. I just don't think DeGrom's viable with his control. I just don't. Is he going to be on this? He, I feel like his timing down in it is for the slider, not for the fastball. He definitely was late. And the changeup has had him all day. Let's go change up. Down and in. It's a stone cold take. It is a stone cold take. I really don't know what to throw here. I feel like we have to get him on the slider, but it has to be off the plate. That was so off the plate, I really screwed up with my pinpoint. But it worked out perfectly. Nothing's ripped. Tatis can't get up to it. Soriano's got great speed for left field, though. We're going to hold him at two. Yeah, Buxton's getting around those bases fast. We're going to hold him at two. He, like, it's cool that he got outlier, but I, I, and you guys are curious too. That's probably part of why you're watching the video, especially if you're new. Hit that subscribe button, by the way. I just don't think DeGrom's going to be very usable against good players. But here is Gary. Is he going to pitch a position player? 
Let's see how this goes. Gary might be looking at home run number three of the game. Now I'm just gonna roll over. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna pop up, dude. He maybe should have been pitching a position player the entire game. It seems like the only inning I'm not going to score with the pitcher spot up now is going to be when his position player and Chris Davis was pitching. Life's crazy. Yep, all over that with DeGrom. A little bit underneath, and he's going to fly out. The only inning I haven't scored was when he had Chris Davis on the mound. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that, man. The pitches were so slow. You, you get eager. And I couldn't take advantage. Like, the dude basically said, I'll give you the game. You can win it here. You can walk it off. Mercying me. And I decided not to show mercy. Terrible. And strike three. Jesse Winker. Sword. And strike three. Ronnie Mauricio swings over that one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be the biggest fan of Degrom. I mean, he's dude. The pitches are so slow. Oh man! If I don't score against Chris Davis this inning, we got a problem. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't think that one's going to get out. Fly out at the wall. Chris Davis kind of releases the ball strangely as well. I can't really do much else on that swing. That, like, that was pretty good. It just was weak off the bat for no reason. Chris Davis is the best pitcher in the game. <laughs> uh, this is wild. I got so geared up to hit like a hard sinker in 102 with Garrett Crochet in the first inning. That 75 becomes tough. But Big Poppy continues his dominance. Second home run of the game. Fourth hit of the game for him. And I get jammed. How do you make contact with that pitch? Actually, no idea. See if we can get him on the changeup, though. Down and in. Strike three looking. Wow, an actually uh, well-located pitch with DeGrom. I almost don't believe it. Slider on the black. Can I get him? I ripped it. <laughs> I threw that pitch three times in a row. Called strike the first time. Check swing the second time. We almost backpicked him. I'm going back to the slider. You shouldn't be touching these. Fastball. Down and in. DeGrom! I hate him. I hate him. Fastball. Down and in. DeGrom, please. Thank you. Thank you. These are bats are taking forever. And here's Marcus Simeon. Walk it off, Marcus. Ball's ripped. Not a homer off a position player, though. I'm going to take two. It's Byron Buxton. He's got a good arm. But Simeon's just a little bit too fast. Runner in scoring position. Game is on the verge of being over. Gary Sanchez for the win! Perfect, perfect. Not a home run, and I can't send him. He would have been out by a mile. Now Byron Buxton for the win is going to get intentionally walked. Jacob DeGrom's up to the plate with a chance to walk it off. And he's going to hit. I'm going to power swing. Oh, 85 mile per hour fastball. I just don't think I squared it up. Just underneath it. Maybe I can't. Nah, I'm going to power swing. That one's hit hard and laid by the first baseman. Jacob DeGrom walks it off. Not a very hard hit ball, but it doesn't matter. Game's called the Mercy Rule. What an interesting game, by the way. It was uh, it was looking scary early, and then I had 18 hits in seven innings. I did my best work against regular pitchers, not a position player. Oh, what an interesting one. Big Poppy, four for four, two homers. Gary, three for four, two homers. Mike Trout, three for three with a double. Bucks and homered. Tatis homered. It's a very fun game. So Jacob DeGrom got the win. Eight strikeouts, four earned runs. Is not particularly good in his seven innings of work. But what can you say? Got the walk-off hit. So that's nice. Big Poppy is up to parallel four now. 
That'll be the game. I'm going to take DeGrom out of my rotation. I wasn't particularly impressed by him. Maybe I try out Fergie Jenkins. Good old Ferguson Jenkins in the next video. He seems like he could be okay. Doesn't throw all that hard, but could be all right. We're going to throw him in there. Maybe see what happens. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Scroll down. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. See me high step to the end zone My life like a game Nintendo Playing with the best, let them know Get off the track, the train's coming through Yeah, promise you get in my way Then you best believe I'ma just run over you Yeah, yeah, I'ma turn taking it back to the house Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud Speedbird's good